from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of IBM Think 2021. Brought to you by IBM. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think, the digital experience. I'm Lisa Martin. I've got two guests with me here today. Ryan Dennings joins us, manager of ECM solutions at Auto Owners Insurance Company. Ryan, welcome to the program. Thank you. And Michelle Christensen is here as well, VP of Enterprise Report Management Practice at Enchoice. Michelle, it's good to have you on the program. Thank you, thank you. So let's, Ryan, let's go ahead and start with you. You guys are a customer of Enchoice and IBM. Talk to us a little bit about Auto Owners Company. I know this is a, a his, five, Fortune 500. This was founded in 1916. You've got about nearly 3 million policyholders, but give us an overview of Auto Owners Insurance. Sure, so Auto Owners Insurance is an insurance company that's headquartered in Lansing, Michigan. We write insurance in 26 states throughout the United States, um, despite our name being Auto Owners Insurance, which is how we started. Um, we write all personal lines, commercial lines, and also have a life insurance company. So comprehensive in that across those nearly 3 million policyholders. Michelle, tell us a little bit about Enchoice. I know this, you guys are an IBM Gold business partner, but this is Enchoice's first time on theCUBE. So give us a background. Sure, sure, great. So Enchoice are an IBM Gold business partner. Uh, we have had 28 years success with IBM as a business partner. Our headquarters are in Ares, uh, Austin, Texas and uh, Tempe, Arizona, as well as Shelton, Connecticut. We cover all of North America and we are 100% focused on the IBM digital business automation space. We have about 500 customers now that we've helped uh, through the years. And we continue to be a leading support provider as well as an implementation partner with all the IBM solutions. And talk to me a little bit, Michelle, about how it is that you work with, with um, auto owners. So uh, we assisted auto owners recently in their digital transformations uh, journey. And they were uh, dealing with an antiquated product and wanted to get fo moving forward, you know, provide a better customer satisfaction um, experience um, for their clients, agents. And so we partnered with them and with IBM and bringing them a content manager on demand solution, as well as Navigator and several other products within the IBM digital business automation uh, portfolio. Excellent, so, Ryan. And, oh, sorry, Michelle, go ahead. No, that's, that's fine. All right, Ryan, tell us a little bit about auto owners, your relationship with IBM and Enchoice, and how is it helping you to address some of the challenges in the market today? Sure, so auto owners has a long-term relationship with IBM, um, originally starting decades ago as a mainframe customer, and then you know more recently um, helping us with different modern technology initiatives. Uh, they were instrumental in the 90s when we created our initial web offerings. And then more recently, they've been helping us with our digital business automation, which has helped us to um, mature our content offering at Autoners. So you have had a long standing relationship with IBM, Ryan, and you mentioned the 90s and thought, ah, a time when we didn't have to wear masks on our faces. So <laughs> a couple of decades, it goes back, yeah? Yes, for sure. Yes, even further than that, Back, you know, back into the seventies from the mainframe side of things. Ah, oh, the seventies, another good time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Michelle, talk to me a little bit about what Enchoice is doing with IBM solutions to help auto owners from a digital transformation perspective. Because as I said, this is a company that was founded in 1916. And I always love to hear how history companies like that are actually working with technology companies to that facilitate then transformation. It's a lot harder than it sounds. Well, that's correct, yes. As I mentioned, we're focused on helping customers develop their strategy, their digital strategy and creating those transformative solutions. So we're helping organizations like auto owners um, with their journey by first uh, realizing um, their exist, uh, existing digital state, what challenges they might have and what needs they might need. And then we break that down or we deconstruct those technical and process and finally we reinvent 
um, their strategic offering with modern capabilities. So we're focused on technologies like RPA, machine learning, artificial intelligence. They're more efficient, scalable, and secure. So any way we can bring those technologies into the equation, we go for it. So this offers us our clients um, smarter and more intu intuitive interfaces, creating a, basically an, a better user experience and a better user experience then becomes disruptive to their competition. So they gain a better place in the market space. Ryan, talk to us about that process as much as you were involved in it. I like that Michelle said, you know, we kind of look at the environment, we deconstruct it and then we reinvent it. Talk to me about how IBM and Enchoice have ha has helped auto owners to do that so that your digital infrastructure is much more modern and I presume much more resilient when there are market dynamics like we're living in now. Yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, we've we've gone through a couple transformation journeys at auto owners with IBM. Um, when I started the team about seven years ago, we originally started using FileNet and DataCap and Case Manager and Content Navigator um, as our first um, movement from a, a traditional um, platform that we had for content management into a more modern platform. And that helped us a lot to improve our business process, um, improve how we capture content and bring it into the system and make it actionable. More recently, we've been working with Michelle and the Enchoice team on our um, migration to a content management on demand platform. And that's really going to be transformative in terms of how we're able to present content and documents and bills um, to our agents and customers um, to be able to transform that content and show it in ways that are um, important um, for our customers to be able to see it, to um, engage from, with auto owners in a, in a digital era. So Ryan, just a couple of questions on that. Is that is that a facilitation of like the digitization of processes that had some paper involved? Because you guys have about 48,000 agents. So a lot of folks, a lot of content. Tell me a little bit more about how um, the like content manager on demand, for example, and what you're doing with ECM. How is that really revolutionizing and driving part of that digital transformation? Sure. So, uh, you know, there's two parts to that in terms of that content management management on demand journey. Um, one is the technology portion of it that IBM's provided, and that suite of software gives us some functionality that we haven't had in the past. Um, specifically, some functionality around searching and searchability of our content um, that will make it easier for people to find the content that they're looking for. Um, ability to implement uh, records management policies and other things that help us manage that content more effectively, um, as well as um, some different options to be able to present the content uh, to our customers and agents in a, in a better and more modern way. Um, and Enchoice's role in that has really been to guide us on that journey um, to help us make the right choices along the way on the project and help us get to a successful implementation and production. Excellent. Michelle, talk to me about hybrid cloud AI data, big theme of uh, IBM Think this year. How is Enchoice using hybrid cloud and AI? You, you mentioned some of the, the ways, but kind of break into that a little bit more about how you're helping customers like auto owners and others really take advantage of those modern technologies. Well, sure, sure. So. Um, of course, with the cloud pack offerings that IBM has come forward with and where we focus in the cloud pack for automation, um, several of those offerings are, some of them are um, uh, built specifically to uh, survive or to, to um, be hosted in a hybrid environment. And as we're working with auto owners, um, transforming their platforms going forward, for example, they just invested in, in a, um, a, uh, I just lost the word here. I, they just invested in a uh, a new platform, mainframe platform, where they're going to be leveraging the Red Hat. And from there, they'll drive forward into containerization. So um, Ryan mentioned 
uh, some of the ways that we'll be presenting the, the content for his agents and his customers. And in particular, um, that entire viewing platform itself can be moved to a containerization state. So, um, so it's going to be a lot easier for him to transition into that and to maintain it and to manage it. Manage it. And of course, um, just that whole um, ease of function around it will be a lot easier. So we are in our area as an IBM business partner, um, we work with uh, these solutions to try to stay ahead of the game, to try to be able to assist our customers to understand what makes sense, when is it time to move into those. Um, it's great to take advantage of the new stuff, but nobody wants to be, you know, the bleeding game. We want to be the leading game. And um, so that's some of the areas we focus with our clients to really stay tight with the labs, tight with IBM and understanding their strategies and convey those and educate our customers on those. Excellent, leading edge. Ryan, talk to me a little bit, I love this. A bank, uh, uh, sorry, uh, an insurance company from the early 1900s moving into using container technology. I love stories like that. Talk to me a little bit about hybrid cloud AI and how those technologies are going to be facilitators of the continuation of the digital transformation and probably enabling more opportunities for your agents to meet more needs from, from your policyholders. Yeah, for sure. So uh, first and foremost, um, we were a Red Hat OpenShift uh, customer before IBM acquired them. And we were doing microservices development and things like that on the platform. Um, and then we were super excited about IBM's digital business automation strategy to uh, move to a cloud pack um, and have that available for software products to run on OpenShift. Um, at the end of last year, we updated our license things so that we can move in that direction and we're starting to um, deploy um, digital business automation products on our OpenShift platform, which is super exciting for me. It's going to make for faster upgrades, more scalability, um, just a lot of ease of use things um, for my team um, to make their jobs easier but also easier for us to adopt new upgrades and software offerings from IBM. Um, there's also a number of products that are in the um, containerized or OpenShift only offering as they're initially coming out, whether it's mobile capture or automated document processing, um, to name a couple. Um, and those are both things that we're looking at at auto owners to continue to mature in this space and be able to offer more functionality to our associates, our customers and our agents. Um, to continue to grow the business. Very forward thinking. Uh, awesome, Ren, thanks for sharing with us what auto, and auto, auto owners insurance is doing, how you're being successful and how, how you've done so much transformation already. I want to throw the last question to Michelle. Take us out, Michelle, with what's next from Endchoice's perspective in terms of your digital transformation? Ah, well, we have been 100% focused on helping all of our customers develop their digital strategy and, uh, and creating their own transformative solutions. So as we continue to work with our clients, take them through the journey, um, as I mentioned before, we try to encourage them not to focus on the, the technology itself, but really to focus on creating their exceptional customer experience when driving their digital strategy. And we see ourselves as you know, helping transform our clients experience such that, you know, customer experience becomes what and choice does best. So we see not only our own organization going through the transformation, but making sure that we're taking our clients with us. And with 500 clients, we're, we're, we're really busy. So that's always good. <laughs> It, that is good. It sounds like the last year has been uh, very fruitful for you. And I love that you mentioned customer experience, Michelle. I think that is so important and as well as employee experience, but having a good customer experience, especially these days, table stakes. I thank you yeah. both so much for sharing what you guys are doing with IBM Solutions, the transformation that you're, both of your companies are on. And we look forward to hearing what's to come. Thank you both for your time. Thank you. Thank you. For Ryan Dennings and Michelle Christensen, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think, the digital experience.